good good evening all of you so today i'll be discussing with you multiple regression analysis one new example i'll be telling you so this is what i'll be doing today i'll be loading a data and then i'll be uh, i'll be doing some cleaning with the data and then i'll be partitioning the data with a new method and then i'll create two models and we will see which one which model is good and this is what i'm going to do today so let us first load the data and see so this is the program for this is the code for loading so i'll be loading to a variable or data frame vehicle i'll be loading loading the csv file to vehicle so let us see okay so i'm just i'll make some okay so i'm loading that just keep the cursor on the line and then type control enter so that line gets executed so now you can see what is in the vehicle so this is the vehicle data vehicle database or csv file so we'll be playing with mileage lh uh, lh means labor hours labor cost okay these three variables or these three columns will be mainly we'll be working with for the model so you can just sort here and you can see zero is coming so labor cost can never be zero and labor hours can never be zero so we have to do the cleaning for that so let us do that so we can see the structure str command and you can see the structure so there are seven variables and 1624 observation rows are there and you can uh, since this is a data frame you can access this using vehicle and vehicle and then if you type dollar you can see the column names coming here so you can just type this we can see the states and also we can do the um, relation between the variables so i'm just taking the third this is the first column second third four so three to five from here to here mileage lh and lc i'm going to see the correlation so I use the command pairs and and type and you can see the correlation okay so as you can see lh and lc are more correlated than mileage see this is not there is no good relation but here this you can see this is highly correlated so lh and lc are highly correlated so we will take this mileage also and we will see and so we have to you can you can just type the summary and see see the summary when you type you can see mean value is zero here also zero so that is not correct so you have to remove the zeros so how we are going to remove so this is the command for the vehicles lh lh is a column name and wherever it is zero you're going to put mean of lh to that so these are the commands for that so let us execute that command and next line also so now if you see here that zeros would have gone see there's no zero zero so zero has gone from here from the data frame now if you type the summary you can see here lh and lc that zero has gone mean value has changed so there will be no much difference if you plot the correlation so see no much difference is there so as you can see 0 0.79 0 0.079 but here it is 0 0.97 that's why lc and lh are highly correlated okay so now what you have to do you have to do the data partition training set and data data set test data you have to make two datas okay so here 
the command we, we are using is I will explain the command. So we are using a random number generator for, for the random number generator. We are using a seed. Okay. For uh, so that we have to give a seed for the random number generator and then the sample. Sample is a command for um, generating the random number. So here two means one nine two. The random numbers will be generated with 192 how many times number of rows in the in our data set okay and the replace equal to true means say 192 will come okay 192 will come repeating so what is how many times you want so you want 70 percentage one and 30 percentage two that's why i put this probability here the meaning of this line is give 192 okay 1 comma 2 192 how many times number of rows of the vehicle repeating one how many times in the total it will be 70 percentage 1 and 30 percentage 2 okay so this is so i will i can show you an example i kept here see for this one okay i'll just just the command i'll memorize you with that command so suppose you type here okay so i'm i'm telling one to six okay it should come ten times replace equal to true means one can come again so this is like just like tossing your the die one two six so which is cut ten times you are tossing and what is coming so naturally repeat has to come <coughs> so suppose you are giving here one two six six times okay and replace equal to false means see it will not, nothing is repeated unique things will come but if you type 10 here and replace equal to false error will come okay because without repeating you cannot get 10 that's where the error came for that you have to give true okay so you get it you get 10 times 1 to 6 some numbers between 1 and 6 10 times replace equal to true then only because it should come again so that's the meaning of this this line so let us see what is happening to this line okay so you are making 192 till number of rows replace equal to true so now if you just see what is there in the x you can see, see so many ones and twos the proportion will be 70 is to 30 okay and now what i am going to do is that i am going to make a train data set okay so this is a command for train data set so vehicle so now i have made x with ones and twos 70 percentage ones and 30 percent twos so in x wherever it was one i will take that use the index okay and copy that particular item from the vehicle and store it to train data set hope you understood see here what is that so many ones and twos so if the first item in x is one then the vehicle data set one will be copied to training if it is two it will go to test data set okay so i'm from the vehicle data set i am making a training data set and a test data set with 70 to 30 ratio i hope you understood see here i made x x hand i will just show you again once again so x had so many ones and twos okay so here let us see so the first item in x is one so naturally that will go to the train data set second is two so that he it will come here so two that will go to test 
data and again one is there it will go to training two is there it will go to test this all these ones will go to train data set again two is coming so that this is one 19 here so this is 18 17 16 so 16 item in vehicle will go to test data so like that i am making a partition partition of the vehicle data set with 70 percent going to train data set and 30 percent going to test data set okay so i am making that train data set and test data set okay so 1157 rows in training and 467 rows in test data okay so you can see this so we are interested in labor cost okay so labor cost will be your y-axis okay so just type in a summary of the lc column in train data set this one and test data set it is this one and then I, we can combine that both this is the command for combining c bind okay and so you can see in both sides okay just lc of the train data set and lc of test data set okay and now i'm going to make the model okay and so again so now my aim is to make the model okay this is a model name i'm giving and then that is lc labor cost versus labor hours okay and i am it is a multiple multiple regression to that i am adding mileage also okay data set is train data set okay and then i i will show the summary of that okay and then summary so i have to explain this little bit so so i made this model and then summary also summary so what is what is coming here so first when i call the command when i type the command summary of that model first line will be which is a model used that is lc labor cost versus labor hours plus mileage and then residuals it is coming median is more or less around zero we can say and in this intercept in intercept lx mileage okay so we have got two variables and then intercept so what will be the formula here labor cost equal to okay i'll just type here labor cost equal to intercept minus 2.9257294 intercept I type plus 75.439 into lh plus minus 0 0.0030 into mileage okay so this is the equation if we we get we got from this model so what is showing here see this is 0 0.03 okay so only one star is there okay so this is not showing significance okay this is not having much significance so we can actually avoid mileage and see because what we understand from this is this this mileage is not having effect on the equation that's suppose alpha is 0 0.01 okay then this is greater than 0 0.01 so see three star means it is highly significant 
and only one star user okay so that that means it is not having any significance in that okay so we can remove the mileage okay and then we'll try with L lh only okay so let us try that okay so we made this one now let us see with lc versus lh alone okay you you made that and then you type a summary you can see see here it is three three star okay so we'll go with that and 95 percent of the data is explained by this model and the overall p value is also very less so this model is good so let us plot that model and see so we are plotting lc versus lh okay you got that you are adding the model also to that so it is almost fitting so now we are going to plot the model and see okay we have plotted the model so you can see there is one outlier here 1620 on outlier is a 1389 these are two extreme outliers are there we'll find what's the outlier so here as you can see in the tail and head some are not fitting some residuals are not in normal distribution okay and then here also you can see outliers are there this, these graphs are useful to identify the outliers. Okay. The Cook's distance also you can see. This is a Cook's this dashed line. Inside that is common. This 2, 0, and 1, 3, 8, 9 are coming inside. So they are having a huge effect on the model. So if you remove that outliers, your correlation or model will become good. So let us see what is the 1, 6, 2, 0. Okay. So this is a command to find the row 1620 throw in the vehicle. So this is the row of 1620. So see this value is the outlier. Okay. And now we are going to predict the data. Okay. Using the test data. Okay. We are going to use the model to predict the LC in the test data. Okay, so this is the command for that. Now you have your values, LC values will be in the P variable. Okay, P. So now I'm going to add a new column to the test data and put that put the P in that. Okay, predicted LC. Okay. Now you can see the vehicle, and then you can see. Test data. Okay, so you have to test the test data. Can see one new yeah, this has come. So you'll see here 233, but it is 174. This is a new column I added. So suppose uh, so this I did for the test data. Suppose you want to predict for a LH equal to 10. Okay, LH. 10. So this is the command for a credit model and you have to have a data frame in which LH equal to 10. Okay. And then you can see this is the LC value. Okay. Labor cost. Okay. Using LH equal to 10. So this is the command. So this is one example I, I had to show you and one new example. So I hope you have understood. I'll just explain one second. So what we did so if you if you want this vehicle procedures we can just ask ask me and send you so i loaded the data then i did some cleaning i removed the zero values in the column and then i did the partition using the random number generation and then i made the train data set and test data set and then i made a model with lh and mileage and by remo removing mileage also. So this was, this had more significance, okay. Mileage had, mileage was not affecting and same thing you saw from the correlation graph also.
mileage had no correlation, no significant correlation with LC. And then you plotted and then you predicted. Okay. I hope you understood. If you got any doubt, you can just comment. I'll explain to you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.